Dave. Hey everyone, Dave. Put some JKP Holdings, also out of Jersey. Um, I've been notes since about 2010. Um, I run a Facebook group, of course, but we've been buying first position, second position notes for years. And I think for us, it's just the automation tools and resources that we try sharing with everyone. But I, for me, it's also networking. It's huge connecting with other investors. And I think social media is a great way of doing that. But just reach out to those who are close to you and just talk to people. And that's what this is about. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that's what, no, what the whole social media presence is about, is getting yourself out there. And sometimes it's difficult. But I've been doing real estate since 2005, where I started rentals, and just got tired of rentals. And 2010 made the shift over. And uh, it's been a fun ride since then. How about you, Dave? What are you excited about? I, I think tools and resources, automation tools out there, besides it, you know, posting in multiple places, and just the ability to do things like PaperStack has available. You can do things so much different than you could do five years ago. Today, every day is changing and you can do things so much easier, right? So back in the day, you had to go to the court, county courthouse and get documents. Now you're getting it online. And all these tools are available at your fingertips from your mobile phone. A point where you can actually go and buy an asset without having to leave your phone is ridiculous. So social media is also the ability to get out in front of people instead of without being in front of people. So when you get out there and you're talking, people see you, and more and more people are putting themselves out there as resources to other people. All right, Dave, you mentioned in your opening that you're a, uh, I guess, administrator or creator of a Facebook group. I believe it's a public group. Yep. So why did you decide to create the group? How's your, how wide is your group? And what benefit have you and your company got out of it other than just having X number of members? So it's weird, the group, my used to call East Coast Distressed Note Investing, and we had a lot of people say, well, you're only East Coast. Well, initially started, Micro Seek in the back, was a small group in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. We met, and it was a group meant to just talk amongst each other. And then I started running the, own, the, the meetup, and people from throughout the country said, hey, can you, instead of you just Zooming one person, can you let us join in and watch the video? So we started doing that, and the group started growing. And we started growing and growing, and I'm like, holy goodness. What I found was that I did it just for myself and help each other out and just be resourced to everyone, and it grew, become bigger. What I think a lot of people in the room too is these so social media platforms are sometimes overwhelming, right? You're not driving traffic to a website. You don't even know what that means sometimes. I think for you and for those people who are not doing those kind of things or don't have the technology or the time, just adding value, being consistent out there, make posts, ask questions, be part of the group, I don't care if the question was asked last week, ask it again. People miss things. What we found out is that what was said yesterday is old news and gone. People don't even remember it or may not even see it. So you need to kind of keep posting it. If you want to drive people to a website, add value. Hey, come take a look. I have this for you and make it something attractive. Managing people in the group is also difficult. We get a lot of posts where this is not reliable information and then I'll review it myself, right? And if a post is in a group that's not supposed to be there, we remove it, right? Immediately, I don't ask questions, I'm running it, and what it is, because it's all supposed to be about helping each other. This whole industry is about networking and making it valuable for everyone. And I try keeping it so it's simple that anyone from a young beginner to someone that's older can understand it. And I think simple is really, really big because a lot of people out there are not social butterflies or not public people, and bigger than, they're not technical people. Sometimes they don't even know where Facebook is and what it does, you know? They're looking for the AOL chat room back in the day, right? They're looking for these old school things, and all this other technology is overwhelming. And I'm not saying we, you, don't, you don't do the things they're doing, but you don't have to do it. What you have to do is brand yourself, put yourself out there, so that when you go to networking conferences, people are reaching out and calling you or shaking your hand. You just want one other investor who may be selling a note to reach out and go, hey, I saw you say something. Can, can I sell you a note? Can I show you details? Great. And that's the reason I kind of grew my group is that I can be that person people reach out to and ask questions. And if I don't know the answer, I'm going to call the guys and say, I don't, have, I don't know the understand this. You know, can you guys help me out? And that's what it's about, really. Just put yourself out there and post. I don't care if you don't know what you're doing. Just get yourself out there and be present and be consistent. Just jump in there every couple of days and ask a question, make a post, say thank you. 
And you don't have to worry about the funnels and traffic until you're ready for it. And once you are, you'll learn about it and you'll be able to utilize VAs and technical services and, and you'll ask people in the group, hey, how did you do that funnel system? Hey, I can share you the company, I can show you this. Because this whole space is all about helping each other. So just simplify it and just post and ask questions. And I think that point there for our group made it grow. We're, I think we're like 2,400 people. And it ebb and flows with things, right? And it's just constantly adding value. And the value can't only come from me. But what's added for me and my company is branding. Getting out there. People know, I guess, our face. We do a weekly webinar, me and Nathan. People are coming up to us, hey, I know you. I'm not sure who you are. I've seen your name. I see a little profile picture. And that's it. But you know what? A comment. Wow, I've seen you comment a lot. I know you by that. So just being, being part of something and being part of it is all that really matters because you don't know what you'll turn into where, hey, I'm, I live in this area. Great, I saw your post that you live in Kansas City. I have a note there, can we talk? Yeah, oh, you wanna sell an REO? Hey, I'm an REO buyer. All of a sudden that connection made and that connection is worth everything because you don't know what you'll turn into. And, you, and like I said before, you don't know what you're doing today and how it will affect tomorrow. So you just keep putting yourself out there. What keeps you up at night as far as digital platforms? I guess changes, right? Constantly having to monitor and change yourself. I want to just piggyback real quick with what Quan said. In Facebook, you can create groups in your lists so that your mom, sister, brother doesn't see your note post and ask questions and comment on it and say, what's, what's that about, right? So you can create the list and just organize your friends so that that doesn't happen. So just FYI, right? So, but keeping up at night besides my kids going crazy, but, it's for technology, it's, it's always changing and I'm not getting younger and the things that I used to do aren't always available, right? Is learning new stuff. And for us, you know, utilizing what my kids do is sometimes great. Like my kids talking about YouTube shorts. Okay, what is that, right? So for me is constantly having to do notes but then learn the social media new stuff and figure that kind of stuff out. And for me, that stuff is, frustrating because I just want to keep doing what I was doing and the change is difficult for everyone. So get out there, just start doing things and for keeping up at nighttime, I think that's the biggest worry because Instagram's out there and I, I don't know what that's all about, but we're on it because you have to be and you have to keep branding, just keeping yourself constant. So that's okay. All right, give these guys a hand.